Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about what else? Love, it's February, we are in the month of romance. What? This isn't a romantic ride? Oh yes it is. Oh contraire my friends. And I'm going to say something, this is for everybody. So if one of the things you noticed at the eclipse, it felt like there was closure, you're able to put closure on things. Now here's the paradox. You have to pay attention to yourself. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. I want you to be in the mode of love. Okay. I talk to people all over the world. That has been one of my honors and privileges to be able to talk to people and when I talk to them, I try to learn something from every single session. That's a lot of sessions. But one thing that I've learned is that when love hits you, it's a return of the love. I mean, it's that simple. The love is returning. So you have this month, Valentine's Day, and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, that's just a thing, you know, for people to sell stuff. No, it's not. Okay, the love surge happens whether you like it or not. Love will find you. And it doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter your weight. It doesn't matter uh, some of the other stuff. Now, that being said, when love hits you, that's when things start to go into change mode. And that's when things start changing. So I would bet donuts that a lot of you would definitely agree that this has at least changed you. Of course it has. That's what love does. It changes things for the better. So I have a message actually for all of you star seeds. If you identify as a star seed, what's a star seed? A star seed are the people who are carrying the seeds of other planetary systems here. So you're bringing something to the table, number one. But number two, it's a seed. It's got to grow. It's got to expand. And I'm going to quote Martin Luther King here, who said, only when it's darkest can you see the stars. And that's actually true. So while he was making an analogy, okay, you're going to start to see yourself shine. You're going to start to blossom and you're going to start to grow. And we have a season change. There's so much stuff going on here. You have a new moon, but this moon is a little bit prep for the full moon that's coming up. And this is going to bring out a lot of the emotional levels of things and the emotional levels of masculine love. What do men do when they're triggered? Okay. What do women do when they're triggered? Okay. You have masculine sides to you and you have masculine parts and you've been a masculine in other lives. It's not just the masculine. I myself have masculine energy. So every time you bash the masculine, you're kind of bashing me. I don't try to take it personally, but I want to say move along with it. Okay. It's a bit old. Nobody is more put upon than anyone else until you start to get yourself moving. Okay. One thing I know about pain is you cannot compare pain with other people's pain. If your pain is what you're feeling, that's real to you. It's not an illusion. It's not illusory. It's not a part of the hologram. It's part of the past that you're trying to get rid of. So no matter what people say about like, well, this is only a holographic universe. It's, um, you know, a virtual reality. I can't feel it. Yeah, you can. And emotional pain is very valid. So what are some of the things that happen with this? Well, first of all, let's get down to basics here. Your body. I'm all about the body. That's what I teach. I am teaching about the new light body because it is different. It is not ancient history. It's not linear like boop, 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 boop. You have seven convenient chakras. You have more than that. Some of you were born with more than that. It's time to learn about it. It's time to come to school and find out and find out what's really going on and stop tripping around in some of the things that you're kind of going, is it this? Is it that? Okay. You have a new light body. That's number one. Bingo right there. 
You're here to be in love. Bingo, right there. You're here to be together with your true love. It's that simple. But you're not always able to make it that simple because what? The past has clouded up a lot of things. So people who have emotions that come up that seem to well up from anywhere, and some of these emotions are weird. They can be irritation. You can get ticked off. You can get triggered. You can be like, oh, how many, how many faces of the goddess are there? How many faces of the god are there? Okay, we're going into this Aquarius energy. That's watery. That's emotion. The water is motion, and the motion is watery and wavy, and it moves. And so have you ever heard anyone say this? If I hate you, will you quit loving me? Stop it. Stop loving me. I'm going to make you hate me. Then you'll stop loving me. Okay? That's happened quite a bit in the past. Angels love to chase. We love our prowess. We love our skills as a hunter. But the chasing gets old and it gets tired. Okay? It's actually not a stage that everyone is really in. Stages of separation, yes. Stages of grief, yes. Having to run and chase, no, it doesn't. Okay? But if you go back to the playground at school, there's people that love to chase each other. And it's a thing with some people. Some people do it. So what are what is actually happening in this energy? Well, this is about the microscopic parts of your body so that you can actually sustain yourself, maintain yourself, maintain yourself handsomely, and get your channels going so that you can reciprocate this with each other. So there's one of you, but there's two of you. There's two of you. You're so much fun they had to pour you into two bodies. But you seriously have connections that the other has. And this is where it can be confusing for people because you might be saying, why if I feel an ache or why if I'm feeling angry, what does that have to do with love? Well, it has to get out now, doesn't it? Are you going to carry a whole bunch of stuff from the past into your union? So the microscopic parts of you need to cleanse and cure and clear because you are purifying past disharmony and strife and there will be a triggering of ancient wounds to love. This should be ancient. Okay, you have ancient wounds to love. You've had wounds to your body. You've had deprivation. You've had being taken captive. Can you even tell the difference between someone who's your twin flame and someone who's holding you hostage? Some people can't. And you might want to think about that. Or if you see people around you, you might say, wow, those people are locked in something. Is it disharmony? Is it disruptive around the people to the people around them? Okay, some people can see people coming a mile away and go, ooh, that's trouble. And some people see trouble coming and they're like, ooh, this is a challenge. And other people go, ooh, this is a turn on. Okay, if you're one of those people or you feel like you keep meeting that person who's trouble, okay, these are this is going to trigger ancient wounds to love, real love. You have ways to clear yourself that you may not be aware of. And another thing to let you know is that the love always resides in the heart. It's not in the lower chakras. It's not there uh, where you hold connections to an entire group of people. So if you find that you're living in your lower chakras or your twin flame is living in the lower chakras. And by the lower chakras, a lot of people just think of sex. But what if people are tied to a job or place? Or what if they're tied to uh, something like um, aspects of their family? They're the breadwinner in their family. Okay. A lot of people are upset. Why isn't somebody moving forward to come forward and take care of me? Well, the real big news is that 
things are things have been set up so that you can take care of yourself and be sovereign. That's what sovereignty means. It means being able to take care of yourself. Now, if you've already been taking care of yourself, that's good. That's not a bad thing. Although you might be tired and you might say, I wish someone else would do it for me. You do it. You do it. Here, you take it. You do it. A lot of people would like that. There's no such thing anymore. You know, you get a temporary reprieve. The people who get breaks, who will get breaks, children, the elderly, people who are very ill. But for people that are healthy, there's no such thing. You got to give yourself the break. And you have to pay attention to what this moon is about. Micro. So this is a micro moon. That means the microscopic, teeny tiny parts of your life. A proper balance of life. So let's translate that into actual living. Okay, what does that mean? If you're drinking, drugging, smoking, taking other drugs um, and other stuff, your body's going to want you to get rid of that. And it happens in very odd ways. I've been seeing it happen. People will uh, have their rib cage seize up. They'll get cramps. They will um, have uh, sharp pains in certain areas. You have a new light body structure for a reason. You're not carrying the same old stuff going forward. You are not carrying relationship patterns and you're not carrying things that are detrimental for you or potentially detrimental. You're not carrying the illness that grandpa had. Now, I want to let you know something because this is a really good thing. When you empower yourself, you empower your grandmother and your grandfather and your ancestors and your children and the future generations. So if you want to help humanity, find out the real way how to start unraveling this stuff and get rid of it. Because if you think that we're going forward for another thousand years with all the stuff the same way it was, it's not going to be like that. So people want real change. They want to be in love. But it, being in love doesn't mean you're going to like drop everything and say, excuse me, dear, I've got to go off to war again. Or excuse me, dear, I've got to go put on a cape and leave you all starving here while I go help these other people. That isn't going to happen. But nor is it going to be cold. And that is another thing that is happening with this. There's a softening. Okay, ever since the eclipse, I want you to notice where things are softening up. Cut people some slack because their own impulse control will be undergoing some surgery. Maybe yours has to undergo some surgery as well, or your twin flames. So maybe you're sitting there saying, I've been doing everything to the T, okay? Well, I'm gonna tell you one other thing. You can't be zen about everything, okay? If you get angry, you get angry. If you're upset, you're upset. If you need to let the floodgates open, let the floodgates open. If you need something, then do it, okay? As long as it's something healthy. Because those emotional levels are not going to be like this. I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And, I'm waiting. and then you just explode where you've got this clam up and then blow up form of how things get out of you. Okay, and for other people, it's very hard too because it's like you gotta stick a pin in them and they're like, Psst. it goes out little by little and they weep it out and they lick it out. And that's, that's just a slightly humorous way of putting it, but it's very serious for people who go through it. They say, why am I going through this? What does this have to do with love? And what did that person do to me anyway? Like what's happening to me? Where is the real me? They're in there. We're just going to scratch the surface a bit and polish you and get the real you out. Now, what the real you is, is your light body. Okay? You're not just human. I need to remind everyone, you are not just human. You are human angelic. You make love at different levels that other human people who have not been activated can't yet.
Okay, remember I said the word yet because after this coming up Lionsgate, you're gonna see more people awakening. And that's a welcome thing because we do want other people to awaken to who they really are and be in love. What a wonderful world it will be if everyone was in love. So yes, the romance, the passion, okay? Not the who's gonna pay my bills, not the I'm so tired I can't have sex, not the, oh, God, another child? Oh, my God, what are we going to do? Not the, gee, I wonder where we're going to live. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Not the, I have a mission, but I'm too tired right now to even know where to start. Or, I just know what I'm going to do, but I lost the thought and I can't grasp it anymore and I can't seem to focus and I where'd that go and what am I doing here anyway? And you know it's not Alzheimer's because you know you're pretty sharp and you're highly intelligent. But what is that anyway? Okay. Emotional levels releasing. You've had emotional connections to several places. So in order to help you, I have a couple of uh, events coming up. I will always have events. Okay. So get used to it. <laughs> Get used to it, everyone, and instead of getting used to it, please come and join and come see me really where I have, you know, much more of a span to cover so much stuff. My webinar that I did that is pre-recorded called A Time of Miracles and Dreams Come True. It is in two parts. It is about concluding your universal karma. It is about your causal body. Uh, some of the other topics are the liquid crystal light form of your light body, which includes your diamond light -like codes and the codes for the new earth. You got those packed in you. Um, you have your, uh, sorry, I'm reading the other things. You actually have several subtle bodies. I have information in there about children too, children and families and things that are happening with children and families. Because even though we call it karma, it's not to incur more karma, it's to conclude the past karma, to conclude the past, past disharmony with family. So what can that be? What can some of that stuff be with family? Well, there's a really big one in uh, my continent and in Europe, you either have war mentality, where we all have to, you know, kind of be meager with things so that we can survive. You have the depression mentality here in the United States, where even though people uh, have moved beyond the Great Depression, uh, they have memories of the Great Recession in the uh, 90s and early 2000s, the tech bubble, the real estate bubble, you name it. People have some of that stuff and it is in their family as well. So some of the stuff translates into real life situations that you no longer need to be emotionally attached to, but what are the areas of your body that it's connected to? Where, where is it stuck or where is it hanging on or where's the hook? That is what I help you with. So my webinar, this one, you might say, you might look at someone and say, God, they're just never going to be sober. Oh yes, they will. Because that's a miracle. When that happens, all kinds of small miracles. I never thought I'd get pregnant. It's a miracle. I never thought I'd ever see that person looking happy. Gosh, their depression is clearing up. It's a miracle. Okay. And dreams. What have you dreamed of? Okay. What is your dream? Now, I have two other things to help you. I have my online webinar, which is February 8th. That's a Friday evening. Or February 10th, which is a Sunday morning. The links are below. This is about your universal cosmic healing and integration because you are not just healing things. So there's fixing what's broken, restoring, healing, and upgrading. Okay. And yes, you are up leveling. I first said it actually last year up level. I first used the words, you know. Um, in some of my other uh, public videos. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say something that I feel is very important. You have 
probably in the ballpark of about eight months to finish up some of the things you may have known are needing to be finished. That is one of the deadlines in the sky. People aren't going to want to hear it, but do you want to be in love? That's, there is a direction of all of this, ladies and gentlemen. So what is the other thing I have? I have a live class here in Chicago. It is a two-day class to teach you. It is live. It is hands-on. I work on you with essential oils. I teach you. I teach you about the light body. We have a lot of fun in the class. We do a lucid twin flame meditation, usually not just once, two or three of them. And you walk away with a lot of confidence. And some people have met great people in the classes. It's for your future. It's for your future. So even though this may seem, I got news for us, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of the whole YouTube community, we are small potatoes. Twin flames take up, you know, only a certain segment. The gaming community is much bigger, but the messages are coming through from everyone. But here's the difference. The twin flames are the people who have a better handle on why this, why that, why? Because some of you need to get back out there again. I'm a person who is leading that, who is intending for people to get back out there and help people with their metaphysical bodies. I can't clone myself. I have to teach people. So my classes are a way for me to teach people some of this so that it empowers you and your twin flame because there's two of you. So the link for this is down below. The links for my live class or my online webinar are below. And I would suggest to you when it comes to um, making the things of your life that you need, that is your causal body. Okay, people say, well, how am I going to create it? What about my manifestor? What about my manifestation? You're either creating past situations or you're getting away from it and you're being new. So a causal body session helps with that immensely. I recommend two to three sessions done sequentially so that we work on several of the areas where the causal body is connected to. And to give you a little ray of hope here, I got, an, I got two emails from two separate people. And one is, hi, Patricia, letting you know that my twin called me back to meet up. He told me he was going to go gambling, but decided it was a bad idea and to meet me instead. We just met. We just met up. He's still concerned about the symptoms, but is going to try your suggestions. We were mirroring each other. That's the thing twins do. You mirror each other. He thought I was cold, and I thought he was. So they were at an impasse. But their heart got the better of them, and they got together. They got out of their head. We both cleared it up in a really good way. He told me that he always felt I was better looking than him. And here I was always thinking he was better looking than me. Silly, silly people. But people in love, our insecurities come up, of course. And... Love, yes, love is so beautiful, and I feel like crying how much I love my twin. Thank you for encouraging me to love. Okay. The next one, it's a wedding invitation. It's out of the country. You have played a huge role in helping us be together. You have been a source of inspiration for both of us to not give up on each other, and we are grateful for having your guidance and healing. It would be great if you can join us. And I didn't ask for that. I just did what I feel based on the guidance I felt when I was working with them. So I want to give you some hope because a lot of times when people are out there looking at the forums, looking at the comments, the people who get together, they kind of, you know, they want to go off and be with each other. They're not always reporting the good news that, yes, people get together. Yes, people deepen their love. Yes, they're having a good time with each other. Yes, they're planning events and creating their life together, but not without getting the past out. I worked with each of them quite a bit, too, but they did the work. I got 
I taught them and I guided them and past stuff came out. So thanks so much for watching. And the links are down below. Reach out. You can reach me at my email, twinplanesmerge at gmail. You can book a session. Please book a session at twinplanesmerge.com. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.